What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. And I know pretty much this this joint right here going to probably ruffle a little bit of feathers. Because I'm trying to figure out what was hip-hop obsession with Scarface. And I don't understand why. Now, first of all, before, me, before I get started, Scarface was a dope fucking movie. Let's go, let's get that out the way right now. I like that. I love that movie. But what I'm trying to understand is what is people's obsession with wanting to be like Tony Montana? What is people obsession with wanting to be like that dude, man? Because you mean to tell me out of the all the characters in the underworld you would rather pick to be like this dude here? The same dude that got high off his own supplies? The same dude that tricked, tricked off to try to get this anorexic white woman to marry him? The same dude that killed his best friend? The, kid, the same dude that had his a, a, a weird incest re type relationship obsession with his sister? The same dude that tried to go to war with the plug. Y'all can relate to this nigga, man. <laughs> if you're going to pick a character, man, pick a character you could, in, the, in the underworld that I can identify. Like, for example, two of my all-time favorite characters. One was fiction was Goldie Mac. The other one was Bumpy Johnson. Like, if you're going to pick figures from the underworld, pick people, people that had common sense and how they navigated and moved. Because, see, Bumpy, what I liked about Bumpy Johnson, man, Bumpy Johnson... He was strategic. He didn't take no shit. He went to war with it. He ain't take no shit from the Italians. The women respected him. The kids respected him. He stood with Malcolm X. Now you know, I'm staying. I'm, I'm I'm speaking in context. If you gonna idolize somebody, idolize one of your own. Now, granted, Scarface had some dope samples. A lot of Scarface's samples and voice voices was used in, in the hip hop. I understand that it made a lot of great music, but for people to idolize that character like to this magnitude, I remember seeing on MTV Cribs one of these niggas got a Scarface blinder. I said, "What the hell is this?" But Bumpy Johnson, Goldie Mac, Priest, Superfly. I mean, there's so many characters in the underworld that you can idolize. I mean, if you want to go to the to the criminal aspect, you ain't got to idolize a, a a cokehead who got high of his own supplies and got his and got his noodles blown out because he he was too reckless out here. I mean, that's just commonology right there. But man, Bumpy Number Bumpy Johnson was so intelligent with his shit. That's the thing. He was intelligent. He knew how to navigate. He knew how to maneuver. He was calculating. His women respected him. He stood to the, next to Malcolm X. Went to war with the Italians. Come on, man. I'll take Bumpy Johnson over Tony Montana any day. So, that just, uh, something that bugged me out because I was just watching MTV Cribs, y'all, and I was like, what is the obsession with the movie Scarface? Even though it was a dope movie. I'm not taking the movie away. I'm not taking it away from Al Pacino's legendary performance. Nor am I taking away one of the greatest endings of all time with the shootout at the end. But this dude was too reckless, man. Y'all literally could relate to a cokehead? Now, you could probably say he rose to the top. Man, all these crime figures rose to the top. What makes his story so compelling? I want to know. So let me know what you guys think. Subscribe at the like button, please.